They are feeding today. They are here in Florida to help me catch peacock bass. Old school Rapala, this thing has been put through some uh, tests. Hey, do you have some friends? Yes. Better, kneel down. <laughs> so I got this $10 Zebco slingshot from Walmart. We're out here in Orlando. I realized there is a uh, lake behind the house that we're staying in just out walking the dog with my wife Giselle so I'm gonna give this thing a few casts see if I can get me a fish so far no go I'm gonna keep fishing <laughs> got one man on the cheap old Zebco from Walmart, baby. I'm gonna have to take these rods down to Miami and uh, do a little challenge with Mike. A little $10 Walmart rod challenge. Look at that. <gasps> Large mouth yeah. bass. Or an end of Florida. <laughs> yeah. You see me at bass from spinning them racks. I be ripping them lips like I'm ripping on the track. When I'm on that water, I slay to the max. Slay to the max. Guys, I'm back. A million subscribers, I'm stacking them plaques. Hop on the slay life, we fishing the flats. We ripping them snook and we catching them jacks. Got drag on the track, CEO got my back. Yeah, you know the camera's attached. We going viral, you ain't got to ask. We gonna keep slaying while y'all talking trash. Get ready by that slay life. Get ready by that slay life. All right, guys, so you saw I got the Walmart rod, the cheap Walmart rod. Well, I'm going to let my daughter, Lexi, here use it. And uh, we're going to throw in a lure and see if she can learn how to use a lure to catch some peacock bass. Have you ever caught one on a lure before? Um, no. No? So today's going to be the first time. Today, she's going to learn how to use that lure, and hopefully, she can catch a fish. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Another one. Oh my God, look, 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 on the little hook. Bro. I did it! On the baby lure! No way! No way! They are hungry. They are feeding today. Guys, look how hungry they are. Look, on the Strike King. Look, on the Strike King. Brian just reeled in too! All right, guys, just working this little lure. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh. There was two on the lure. Now there's just one. There we go. I had it. But one popped off. Come on, where you at? Oh, there's one. There's one. There we go. That's number two. Now close it and reel. There you go. Faster than that. Faster. There you go. That's the speed right there. All right. Reel it back up. Yeah, stand there and go straight back. There you go. Much better. There it is. That's how you do it. Okay, you're good. You're gonna get one. You're gonna get one. And the best part about it is you're gonna get one on your own. So the fish have been hitting the bigger lure that's been on my rod, um, and they've not been hitting Lexi's rod. So we switched out from the uh, Lucky Strike, the little bitsy minnow, to the old school Rapala. This thing has been put through some uh, tests. It's all beaten and battered, so hopefully we can beat it up again one more time, or a few. So, uh, Lexi, here you go. It should be easier to cast, too. All right. 
these Walmart rods, they are super cheap, which means they have super cheap line. Even though it's pretty strong and durable, it wants to stay bent and curled up. Yeah, this cheap freaking fishing line. Yep, I'm gonna go and try and get it out. I can see my fishing line. What? Really? Yeah. That's why I said we should go over there, but, but I don't know. Ah! You on? Yeah. Yes. Oh. That scared me. I got some cheap line on my bait caster. It was actually sent to me by a company, but I'm not going to say the name because uh, maybe it was just a bad spool, but I'm not here to trash talk anybody, but the line sucks. Um, and I, I lost my lure. The line was still floating in the water, so I was able to retrieve it. At the same time, Lexi got a fish on the Rapala. <laughs> Baby fish. All right, let's get this line cleaned up so we can fish some more. Yeah, fish. Yeah. How do I hold like the that again? Like that? Yeah, it's fine. All right, peacock bass. <laughs> All right, we're gonna fish for a little bit longer, guys. And what I'm gonna do is catch a bait fish to catch a big fish so hopefully I'm successful and uh, we'll see walk on down here and just like that I've got myself a little Mayan cichlid. These are invasive species that were released and they they are here in Florida to help me catch peacock bass. So I'm gonna walk over to my other rod. I already got a bait hook set up. Show you what we do. Right here, I just tied it on. Got a size one hook. And what you're gonna wanna do is just put it through the lip up and through just like that and toss them in just like that walk over here and we're gonna cast out and get a fish no ducks that is not for you check my drag a little loose that's better. Using a Shimano Vanford on a Mojo St. Croix. Uh, the kayak rod. Got me a fish, guys. Peacock bass, finally. Barely hooked. Flip them up. There it is. Peacock bass. Look at the tail. Alright, let's toss them in. Hopefully there's another one. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Um, yeah. You guys saw Lexi learn how to use a Rapala and uh jerk baits and uh you got to see me catch a bait fish cast it out and catch a peacock bass so i hope you enjoyed the episode lexi you had fun yeah did you have fun yeah hey she got to play with duckies so uh can't call that a bad day so guys till next time keep your head up keep moving forward and tight lines Zzz.